Liam, the mood in the camp seems pretty good. Would that be a fair reflection? Yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was a back of a good week. The mood's been good. It's been an enjoyable place to be when it's like this. It's bumping and everyone's excited. But we've got to try to remain humble and just focus on the next game. It's exactly that. But it's good to have that good spirit. The Christmas spirit is in full flow this week, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously... Festive period coming up, Christmas, it's important to everyone to be with their families and so on. It's it's nice to, obviously we're working through that Christmas period, but it's nice to have all the boys here with you and their happiness brings my happiness. So, yeah, it's nice to have. I was going to say, you've always been somebody who's pretty happy. The Christmas spirit, is that something that you're really into at the moment? Yeah, um, it's been a big thing like, for me and my family growing up. It's always been like a massive, I always have a massive Christmas and there's hundreds of us, usually at my grand's. Um, but yeah, I've got a, having a quieter Christmas this year. How different is it for players, the Christmas period? Because obviously there's, you know, four or five games over 12 days, so to say. Do you have to change much for you or can you still enjoy Christmas Day within the limit? Uh, yeah, it's tough. Um, I was speaking to, I think, my friend yesterday and saying that New Year's is probably the hardest time for me. Personally, I don't know about the other boys, but um, obviously we're not, we can't, you can't do anything. And it's, that's the same for Christmas. Like, you've got to watch what you eat, go on a run. And in an ideal world, you wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't have some, you wouldn't be working the next day, but we've got a game and we have to be, remain professional. So I'm kind of used to it now, but it is mentally tough at those times, but Listen, it's part and parcel of the job, so you learn to embrace it. I've said it to the head coach and a couple of the boys as well. Momentum seems to be a bit of a buzzword in football. To have three wins going into a busy Christmas period, how important is it to have those behind you now? Massive. Um, listen, in football you go on bad spells and it does. You never have a clean, clean run throughout the season. I don't. I've rarely seen it. I, I don't think I have seen it, but. We've just showed the belief and the trust in the gaffer and all of his coaching staff, and we've kind of shown that in our games, especially, I think the Alverton one was the turning point. It's a tough place to go, and probably people would look at it and say, look, you should have beat them, they're playing National League North, but it's, it's a lot harder than you think going to them places on a Tuesday night. And we managed to weather the storm, got a nil-nil, and then from there we just changed and got a great result against Notts County beat Alvin in the FA Cup and beat Tranmere. So, yeah, it's been a good run, but we've just got to focus on the next game rather than looking too far ahead. Somebody who's you know played a big part in that is Jamil Matt. How pleasing was it for as a group to see him get the goals that have earned us two wins on the bounce? Yeah, massive. Um, I'm delighted for Jamal. Me and Jamal speak quite a bit as well. And obviously, it's been a bit different for him, obviously not playing as much as he probably would have wanted to, but... That's with a lot of people that would have happened, but he's come in every day and been positive, does his job as well, and he's a good, great professional. And I think that doesn't get shown enough and probably won't get shown enough. But Jammer's a great professional. I'm just delighted for him to get his goal. And obviously he's going through a tough period outside of football. And that does play a part in you as a person as well. So I'm just delighted for him. you got that goal in the league and hopefully it just carries on. Into this weekend's game against Accrington, how important is it to now build on the clean sheets as well going into this sort of game? Yeah, massive. Clean sheets, I think, go unnoticed a lot. You can win a game but then still concede and probably the strikers and that wouldn't feel it as much. But as a defender, you that pains you. That's your bread and butter at the end of the day. So to build on the back of our clean sheets is massive. We've had three clean sheets in four games. So it's something to build on. It doesn't matter the opposition, it's a clean sheet. It's you're putting your body on the line for 90 minutes and that's what it takes to get a clean sheet and grind out games when they don't suit us. So, yeah, it's a massive confidence boost and I just hope that we remain humble but solid as well and just be ready for the fight against Akron to the set. Yeah.